o'clock. Call the meeting to order. Roll call, please. Ms. Beers? Here. Mr. Bennett? Here. Mr. Brown? Here. Mr. Chaussey? Here. Mr. Custer? Here. Mr. Johnston? Here. Ms. Lugo? Here. Mr. Staborski? Here. Mr. Velasquez? Here. Three, I'd like to request uh, approval of the meet, meeting minutes from the Finance Committee meeting, school board work session, school board meeting, and the special voting meeting. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any comments or questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, say. <coughs> motion carried. Up next, we have student representative addresses. Springs High School. Hi, my name is Elle Moran, and I am updating you on what is happening at Cambridge. Oh, my bad, guys. Okay. Starting off with the news from the elementary school. The following news is reported from several CSES teachers. Mrs. Goldsmith's sixth grade students have been working on a memoir newspaper that they would like to share with the board members. They are still editing, but would have the final copy by the, next, by the end of next week. Mrs. Martinez's third graders are excited to start fractions in math. They will be learning about equal parts, equivalent fractions, and measuring. Also, the third graders have been publishing their informal writings. They are very proud of their intense work that they did. Mrs. Jardina's fifth grade students welcome, created a welcome book for new students after completing the journalism unit in November. The book is published and located in the elementary school office for new families that come to our school. Fifth graders also recently submitted haiku poetry in the 30th edition of the Young American Poetry Digest. The annual book features poetry written by elementary students nationwide. Each, each student's poem is reviewed by a panel of teachers and those selected for their overall quality will be published. Good luck, CSES students. CSES teachers recently participated in a data deep dive focused on students participating in, re participating in Read and Math 180, interviews during their win time. Elementary Blue Devils data was strong and indicated students are making significant gains and demonstrating notable strength. Now for news from the high school. Congratulations to senior Parker Smith for earning 1,000 career points in basketball this past week. And congratulations to the team for recent wins against Eisenhower and Union City. They play Sagertown tomorrow in what is sure to be an exciting match. The girls basketball team is playing Union City tonight away and we wish them good luck. Congratulations to senior wrestler Brody Beck for 100 wins. And congratulations to Sagertown wrestlers Casey Mook and Elora Dingling, sorry. <laughs> Dylan, oh Dillinger, gosh. Dillinger, I'm so sorry, um, on the recent 50 wins. Pencrest certainly has many talented athletes. Recently, Mariah Peterman, Josh Simpson, Will Marcia, DeMarco Green, and Kayla Crawford had a great showing and concert at District Chorus in Allegheny College. A special congratulations to, jo to Josh Simpson, 
who placed ninth in his section and is advancing to Region Chorus in Oil City in March. This Wednesday, we'll be publishing the Valentine's edition of The Pitchfork. Please continue to keep up with our special media, Cambridge Speaks, to see what is happening in Cambridge Springs Daily. We appreciate your involvement. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Town High School, Gloria. Hello, my name is Lauren or Zorian Edwards and I am here to update you on what is happening at Segertown High School. We apologize for our recent break from board meetings. We have not had the time to show up. I apologize. On February 8th, many students were given the opportunity to prepare for their future with mock interviews. Students prepared for these interviews by creating a resume and were paired with an interviewer based on their interest or career aspirations. The classes participating in the interviews were among the English department, Ms. Cressman and Ms. Mook's class. In other news, Segertown has been doing well in athletics. The girls' varsity basketball took their region win against Union City. Ms. Thomas and the coaches have started an Athlete of the Week program where they recognized in our media and given where they are recognized in our media and given a certificate for their good performance. Senior Casey Mook, a member of the girls' wrestling team, also secured her 50th win at the Midsummer Mayhem Tournament in January, making her the first girls' wrestler to do so. Following in her footsteps, another girls' wrestler, senior Laura Dillinger, secured her 50th win at the North Allegheny Wrestling Tournament in early February. In other news, senior Lindsay Amory, a member of the girls' varsity basketball team, was nominated for the D10 midseason breakout pool for girls basketball done by Go Erie. Sadly, she did not win the pool, but getting nominated is a feat in itself. Way to go, athletes. The Segertown PBIS team held an incentive field trip to Playport in Erie for students with good grades and no illegal absences. Playport is an 80s and 90s themed arcade where students were able to play games, participate in glow in the dark mini golf, and to spend time with their friends overall. Around 252 students qualified for the trip to total. We would like to recognize the musicians at Segertown who participated in the district chorus concert at Allegheny College. Those students are juniors, Kaylee Reynolds, Jasmine Sample, and Lillian Oaks, and senior Travis Peters. Travis Peters placed second in his section and will be advancing to the region chorus in Oil City during March. Way to go, musicians. Our love for writing is in the air as we prepare for our Valentine's Day issue of the Panther Press. The issue will be released on Wednesday along with our Valentine's Day podcast and other web post stories. We hope you give our paper a read when it reaches you. As always, thank you for your time. We look forward to updating you each month. In the meantime, you can follow us on our socials at the Panther Press SHS. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, PAEA representative, Ms. Debbie Mill. I can get this where I can line up my glasses. Good evening, I am Debbie Miller and I represent over 200 teachers and specialists who are relieved to have a contract. I want to thank the board for their deliberate action to join us at the table in a face-to-face -face discussion where we were finally able to reach a compromise. In December, when board member Lugo and others stated we needed to settle this contract, they were true to their word and agreed to meet shortly after. Each side was heard and in a few hours, well, maybe a couple more, we had a compromise. We also appreciate the countless hours of Ms. Eckert and Mr. Newman that they have put in in helping to reach this achievement and this settlement. The 1968 song, Games People Play, by the Alan Parsons Project says, I won't sing it for you. So where do we go from here, now that all the children are growing up? And how do we spend our time, knowing no one will give us a hand? We could keep reminiscing the lyrics, but the question is valid. Where do we go from here? And it is accurate, the children are growing up. So where do we go from here? First, we continue what has started. We communicate. We sit down at the table and we talk. We find ways to compromise and solve problems. One exciting change brought about by the new contract 
will help this goal of working together. In the new contract, both parties have agreed to plan staff development together. This is promising to create training and collaboration opportunities with a laser focus on the needs of our district. Second, we need to also recognize that all of the children are growing up. Everything is changing at a faster rate than ever before. We have all heard the comparison of how the goal of kindergarten used to be to learn how to do school. And now, they need to be readers and writers before first grade. This rapid pace is hitting all levels, and we have some students accelerating the pace farther to graduate early. We need to refocus our efforts and collectively plan for the future. The future that not even is clearly defined for our students at this point. We need to come together and be flexible and find ideas for curriculum and offerings that prepare our learners for the ever-changing workforce. So while it feels like it's time to celebrate the contract settlement, there's no time to pause. We need to continue working together and show our Pencrest communities that we are going to stop at nothing to make our schools a force that empowers our students' futures. Thank you. Next, we have citizens' comments on agenda items. Uh, registered citizen, Mr. D. Francesco. Somebody left a quarter here for, for help with the budget. <laughs> well, good evening. My name is Luigi D. Francesco. I'm a, a resident of Richmond Township. First thing I would like to address is the uh, first reading of policies 600 and uh, policy 006. On policy 600, I would like to put it, bring to the attention of the board, and, and this should be looked at real seriously, this policy does not address when public bidding is mandatory as part of Title 24 Section 751. You know, this uh, law says no board of school directors shall evade the provisions of this section as to advertising for bids or purchasing materials. Now, policy 006, under the agenda preparation <clears throat> paragraph, Paragraph says it shall be the responsibility of the superintendent in cooperation with the board secretary to prepare an agenda of the items business anticipated to come before the board at each open meeting. Uh, first, the provision is not clear what the secretary is supposed to do. However, I, I recommend to aid the president since he, or maybe in the future she, is the one responsible for the meetings. Now, we, we can go now on another small item. It's about purchasing you know, this, uh, Section 109, the IPAID. Uh, I don't know if it's a purchase or not. It's, it, it, it regards the uh, Wi-Fi Patronista. That's not an agenda item this evening. This is comments for agenda items. That is an agenda item. It's not on our agenda this evening. Thank you, sir. Was it removed, sir? It's a 109 iPad on, on the agenda. It's the apps. It will be the apps, not the iPad. The iPad apps. It's an app for the iPad. Yeah, yes. It's an app. It's an agenda. An app. Yes, the app. Yeah. The one app. The question I have on the app is, are we, is the board purchasing anything or, or this is downloaded free? If it is purchased, which under, under the, uh, the agenda item, it shows the cost of about $9.99. And I don't know if it's one <clears throat> for each one probably. If, it, if it's a purchase, I have to remind the board that no money can be only the board can approve spending money. So, you know, keep that in mind before you vote. Now, the major issue, 
that I have is that I, the Tribune print an article about micromanagement so that's or not. The agenda? Excuse me? That's not on the agenda, sir. Well, I guess you got me that time. <laughs> all right, very good. That's all I need for tonight. I just want to make sure that the board, it's very clear that money that is spent has to be approved by the board. And the board should know if what they're buying, if, if they, where they spend their money. Okay? Any non-registered citizens on agenda items? <clears throat> Please state your name and township as always. Um, Carla Brown. I live in Cambridge Springs. My kids attend Sager Town High School. Uh, I just had more of a question, really, because um, uh, I noticed with the policies um, that they were not presented, I guess, the same way that they used to be. Um, for a long time, there was, uh, when there was changes made to policy, it was highlighted or the lettering was um, green for things that were added and the lettering was either red for things that were being taken out or there was like an X or like a line through them, a red line, so that you could easily and quickly see the changes from the policy as it is written and the policy as you want to change it. Um, and so I noticed that it wasn't like that, at least for me uh, and the public when they looked at the policies um, on this agenda. And I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Thank you. Thank you. Other citizens comments on agenda items? Hearing none, move on to education report. Um, <clears throat> recommended action, Pencrest Board of School Directors approve the student athletic travel as listed. So moved. Second. Motion and a second, any comments or questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion carried. Recommend the Pencrest Board of School Directors approve the student travel as listed. So moved. Item B. Second. The motion and a second. Any comments or questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion carried. Item C, resource lists. Re resolved that the Pencrest Board of School Directors approve the attached resources and the materials in accordance with policy 109. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any comments or questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion carried. Item D, resource list speakers. Resolve Pencrest School Board of School Directors approve the following resource materials in accordance with policy 109. So moved. Second. Second. Okay. All right. All right. We have a motion in the second. Any comments or questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion carried. Item E, resource list. Resolved with the Pencrest Board of School Directors approve the attached resources and materials in accordance with policy 109. I on that. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any comments or questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion carried. Item F, resolved that the Pencrest Board of School Directors approve one Pencrest Cyber Academy Graduate. So moved. Second. Any motion to second? Any comments or questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same. <coughs> motion carried. 
Item G, recycling and sale of technology equipment. Resolve Pencrest Board of School Directors approve the attached quote for sale and recycling of district technology, technology equipment in accordance with policy 706. So moved. Second. I have a motion to second. Any comments or questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion carried. Item H, resolve the Pencrest Board of School Directors approve the attached affiliation agreement with Associates and Counseling and Child Guidance. So moved. Second. Motion to the second. Any comments or questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion carried. Item I, resolve the Pencrest Board of School Directors approve the attached Marikee Pennsylvania Therapeutic Family Care and Foster Care Plus Agreement. So moved. Second. And motion to the second. Any comments or questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion carried. Item J is informational. Uh, just so the board knows, we did switch around the January 20th, 20th and 21st date that um, some of you had questions with, so that has been fixed. Uh, we will have it for board vote at next month's board meeting. Also, um, there is a typo for the Thanksgiving break. It says November 22nd till December 2nd, but it will be November 27th to December 2nd. As much as I'm sure everybody would like an extra week off, we will not be doing that. Um, item K, uh, resolve that the Pancras Board of School Directors approve and accept the donation of kindergarten safety resource materials from State Representative Kathy Rapp. So moved. Second. A motion to second. Any comments or questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion carried. Thank you. Um, I have copies of what her office has donated that I can leave here for you, you folks to take a look at. But again, we just we want to thank uh, Representative Rapp for um, reaching out and offering these to our, our students. They deal with fire safety, school bus safety activities, supporting our local police um, for our, our younger kids when they come in. So it's a great way to, to start with those kids with safety. And, and those items at that young age, and uh, we appreciate uh, Representative Rapp's help with that. On to Section 7, um, Item A, resolve that the Pancrest Board of School Directors approve the list of contracted student drivers, so student moved. transportation drivers. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any comments or questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion carried. Section 8, financial report. Uh, re item A, resolve that the Pencrest Board of School Directors approve the attached treasurer's reports. So moved. Second. A motion and a second. Any comments or questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Those the same. Motion carried. Item B, resolve that the Pencrest Board of School Directors approve the payment of the attached disbursements with the funds listed below. So moved. Second. So a motion and a second. Any comments or questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same. <clears throat> motion carried. Item C, budget transfers. Resolved that the Pencrest Board of School Directors approve the attached budget transfers. So moved. Second. A motion and a second. Any comments or questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion carried. Item D, resolve that the Pencrest Board of School Directors approve the attached Northwest Tri County IU 5 CW CBET transportation trips for 2324. So moved. Second. Motion is second. Any comments or questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion carried. Item E, resolve that Pencrest Board of School Directors approve the resolution to change the purpose of the 2020, 2020 bond issuance to include renovations and upgrades to the Cambridge Springs attendance area. So moved. A second. A motion and a second. Any comments or questions? Just so it's like clear to the public, can you kind of say exactly? I mean, it, it sort of says what we're doing here, but. 
So this was originally the bond um, for the roofs that was slated in 2020 that goes out 25 years. So what we are doing with that is we are going to reallocate that um, so we can change the, the funds from just the roof and open that up to um, the Cambridge Attendance Project. So we're looking at doing the roof as well as the elementary school, which hasn't been approved yet. We're looking at doing the bathrooms, locker renovations, um, piping, um, as far as like plumbing and all that, um, in the locker rooms, all the bathrooms, all that's included. Anything that is has a useful life of 20 years. I apologize, I can't get it to pull up because we get we have an error message right now on uh, board docs. <laughs> so I don't have the exact um, items in front of me. But we'll have more items as well. We did that walkthrough with the board. Um, so there are more items identified for the Cambridge attendance area, but the bond resolution just changes those funds from that um, original issue that was that 25 years that has us locked in only for the roof. And if you remember in the past, we did the roofs with the Esther's money, so that's how we have that extra money to put towards um, the Cambridge attendance area. Good. Yep. Any other questions? Any other comments and questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, say. Motion carried. <coughs> Personnel report. No, donation. Donation. Oops, I missed one. Donation. Sorry, I missed one. Item F for the MES nurse. Resolve that the Pancrest Board of School Directors approve to accept a donation of $200 from the Townville Lions Club for MES nurse. It's on for Second. A motion and a second. Any comments or questions? <coughs> Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, aye. say. Motion carried. Thank you. Uh, again, we would like to thank the uh, Townsville Lions Club. They annually donate to the schools out there, and we appreciate their community partnership. Now, sorry, on for the personnel report. Will the board consider, consider a consent agenda on this? Yep. Yes. All right. So, um, I'd like to request approval as a consent agenda for all the items on the personnel report. Item A through G. G. So, so moved. Second. second. Motion to second. Any comments or questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, say. Motion carried. Okay, item 10 is listed as New business, again, it's the policy first reading for um, policies listed 610 and 006. Um, on next to any board discuss discussion for new business items? None. All right, for announcements, First, we are announcing that the board met for executive session on January 23rd, February 5th, and the 12th for personnel, legal, and negotiations. Next item I have is some district announcements um, that we'd like to share with you. First up, some of the recent legislation affecting public schools um, for the board's knowledge. Um, there, PDE has there's a new student teacher grant opportunity to attract that is being used to attract more people to the field of public education. It's a grant for student teachers to um, receive funds while they student teach, and it'll be through the the FIA, P -H -E -A -A. That's a new item that came with the recent legislation, which hopefully will help build a pipeline of teachers. Um, the Pennsylvania Commission on Crime and Delinquency, what you'll hear us say all the time, will be PCCD. Um, there are multiple grants out currently um, and training as to how to fill out the applications. Um, some of those grants are competitive. We are currently uh, working on and completing those applications. They are due at the end of the month. There is mental health, there is school safety, and there is a larger competitive grant out there also. So we will be turning those applications in to get funding for um, a lot of the things we have. We've gotten funding through before for PCCD and through ESSERS. So. Um, those will be coming our way as well. A piece that's effective today, February 12th, um, that was added to the recent uh, omnibus bill of, uh, from the Department of Ed, 
Um, all school-age children must be given a dental screening upon original entry into school while in third grade and seventh grade. Um, and as always, guidance will be brought out to the schools at a later date, but that, um, that was an addition that became effective actually today. Um, so our, our schools will be um, making sure that happens to be in line with code. There are some revised dual credit rules and data reporting required by schools that uh, will come about in June. Again, we will be working on that to ensure that we meet those requirements. And the, the last piece, uh, major piece of note is uh, the basic education circulars. That's how PDE puts out their regulations and rules. They adjusted the days and hours of instruction rule. In the past, it said all students must receive 180 days and 900 hours at the elementary level and 990 hours of instruction at the secondary level. They changed the wording effective immediately to all students must receive 180 days or 900 or 990 hours of required instruction. So there's an either or in there now. In the past, we had to make sure kids were here every all 180 days, and we also had to make sure that we had those 900 or 990 hours of instruction in order to be in compliance with state funding. Uh, if we didn't meet those in the past, um, basically PDE pulls back some of your funding. So there's going to be a little wiggle room for us to, to do things like should we have you know, major snowstorms or, or things like that or we uh, need to do additional professional development days. Um, there'll be um, a little more leeway for us to, to do things and still meet our funding requirements. Um, we, uh, superintendents in the county will be getting together and, and talking about how we're going to address that too so that again our professional development days can try and match um, with our calendars so again we don't affect our career tech kids. But that's some things that may be coming to you later. And again, the board always approves the school calendar so none of these changes will be made without the board approving it. Um, but that was one of the big changes that kind of surprised everybody. Currently, there's legislation being considered now. Um, House Bill 1422 uh, addresses excessive cyber charter school costs and hopefully will address fairly charging taxpayers for school choice. Um, some of the facts that we've been asked to share with the school and the community is the project, the projected uh, cost savings or mitigation for Pencrest School District based on this legislation will be about $880,000. Um, what it'll do, some of the things that it, it does that is not out there now, uh, create more openness as to what taxpayer dollars are spent on, such as advertising, sponsorships, um, charter school foundations and governance. A lot of that stuff does not require, doesn't have much oversight, and um, taxpayers aren't informed that the dollars that fund those um, are being used for those things. Uh, it will require these the cyber charters to do a residency verification for enrollment. Um, sometimes that comes into question and that hasn't been required before. Uh, it also requires cyber charters to visibly see and communicate with enrolled students at least once per week to verify their well-being. Um, something that we do a lot more than once per week in the brick and mortar schools. The other pieces that'll, that in the bill, again, this is just proposed now, it's not been voted on by the legislature. It will require schools to allow access to facilities for state testing for the cyber charters since they don't have facilities, so that's something that will affect our facilities for state testing. We'll have to provide access. Um, some transportation items that they're still working out on. Um, and you know, those are the major highlights. I shared with you some of the administrative costs that are public on, on the internet for some of these cyber charter schools. Um, 80, the three that I was able to find online, 80% of our outside our students that go to outside cyber schools attend those three cyber charters. Um, some of these cyber charters have 15, 20 administrators, assistant principals, and no buildings as well as CEOs making $250,000 a year. Um, so that's what this House Bill 1422, they're trying to address. But they're also trying to fairly address school choice for parents because it's not meant to eliminate school choice. It's, it's meant to eliminate some of the burden on taxpayers 
um, for providing school choice. Um, that's the way it's you know being sold. But again, it, it'll go through legislative process. It's been on the table a couple times in the past and has died. So um, we're hopeful something moves forward. But I, I wanted to share that with everyone because um, it's making a little bit of progress. And then now finally into our district announcements. Uh, again, our, our students did some wonderful presentations this evening. We're, we doubled up on some of the stuff they said, but uh, uh, I have our board statement to the community right now here for you. I'll read out. So, The Pencrest School District is very proud of our students and staff's achievements and efforts. The following items are just a sampling of the many things that helped to make Pencrest, Pencrest a great positive educational community. Please visit each school's website or official social media sites for updates and happenings throughout our district community. Um, first, multiple Pencrest students performed well in district course at Allegheny College. Mariah Peterman, Josh Simpson, ninth place, Will Marceau, DeMarco Green, Kayla Crawford, Sydney Preston, Laura Slagle, Aiden Klamovic, Lillian Oaks, Travis Peters, second place, Kylie Reynolds, and Jasmine Sample. They all represented Pencrest School District with honor. We appreciate their efforts and their achievements. From Cambridge Bridge Schools, in the classroom, hands-on STEM activities included Mrs. Jardina's science classes dissecting earthworms and crayfish, as well as Mr. Crocker's physics students engineering towers and testing the strength of their creations. Congratulations again to Cambridge Springs senior Parker Smith for reaching a 1,000 point scoring milestone in basketball recently. From Maplewood schools, Maplewood High School recently completed its annual business week with the top company being the Essentialins. This is always a great week for students to learn about entrepreneurship and leadership. Thank you to the many community volunteers for making the event successful for our school and our students. To the students and teachers at Maplewood that participated in the Unified Bocce team also, we thank you for providing this amazing opportunity to see you perform in the Bocce competition. From Segretown Schools, Segretown Elementary School celebrated the 100th day of school recently with building-wide classroom activities. Also, thank you to Mrs. Mook and Mrs. Slayton, as well as Ms. Eileen Mullen from the K-12 Education Alliance for planning and executing the mock interviews at Sagertown High School on Thursday, February 8th. The students did great work. It's exciting to see these students take the step into adulthood and work with area business professionals. Cambridge Springs High School is scheduled for February 29th for the mock interviews. Uh, additionally, Laura Dillinger, as noted earlier, notched her 50th career win in the girls wrestling tournament recently at North Allegheny. At that same tournament, Emma Spencer placed first in her classification. And then also, Sagertown Boys Varsity basketball team recently captured the region title last Friday. And a final note. Last week at Sagertown Elementary School, a uh, sensor caused an un unplanned fire alarm for the building. The monthly drills at all buildings practice was put into place and the building was safely evacuated. The Sagertown Fire Department quickly dispatched and arrived at the building to check the building and clear it for entry. We'd like to deeply thank the Sagertown Fire Department. We are grateful for our local fire departments and for being there when we need them. If you ever have a chance to support your local fire and rescue, please do. This is a very important local service that you hope you never use, but we'll be grateful if you ever need them. Again, remember, please visit our school's website or official social media sites for even more updates and happenings throughout our district. Thank you. All right. Up next, we have registered citizens' comments on non-agenda items this time. Mr. D. Francesco. Thank you. I'm here again to talk about America. <laughs> Can I start? Yeah. <laughs> I'm here again because I want to go over to, <clears throat> to speak about again American civics in our schools. From what I understand, American civics were taught here years ago. And I, if, I, if I'm correct, it was at the uh, Giardina, the teacher Giardina, that was, that was appointed as a teacher for civics. And once he retired, all of a sudden, you know, boom, disappeared. 
Well, I have to remind the board again, as I did before, over and over again. American Civic is the law. You people will have to find out, reinstitute the American Civics in this district. Not because you like it or not, but because it's the law. Now, I was going to prepare a nice speech, but I found out an article from a teacher that was written last year. So I'd like to give the copy to the uh, secretary. Hopefully, they should be able to copy it and, and, and distribute it to all board members. Mr. Brown, would you please? Thank you. As the uh, president of the union stated, the future of our children, the future of this country is at stake, especially what's going on right now. If it, our young people do not know what, how valuable this country and, and the institution that we abide with, then we, this country is done. The important people that don't even know their duty as a citizen or a guest. Unfortunately, we have millions of illegals. And I can tell you from personal experience that there is a law, immigration law, that should be abide, that the federal government should make sure the people is enforced. My parents and I and all my family went through it. They had to be a medical check we had, a, we had to have a sponsor to take care of our family while my father find a job and, and to take care of his own family. But right now it looks like the sponsor is the federal government actually to be specific in the Democratic Party in this country. And that has to stop the people, the young people need to know. And you are responsible to, to reinstate the, the civics, American civics in this district. And please, let me save some money because I don't want to file a mandamus against the board. Thank you. Any comments from non-registered citizens on non-agenda items? Is this your quarter? No, it's you or something. All right. Okay. Somebody tried to Debbie help Miller, Rockdale Township. A um, couple of things. First of all, I am so happy to hear that my alma mater and the place that I call home every day teaching is going to finally get some um, improvements. Might I make a suggestion? Um, we, we all remember last year the packed house here that was concerned that this building was not going to get their turn to um, and the elementary school to get the improvements. Maybe um, it would be nice to run um, an article in the paper, um, something like that, to let this community know just what um, the board has landed on as a final decision on what things are going to be done. When I heard locker rooms, I like was so thrilled because that's that first um, thing that uh, a place, you know, that when they come in that they see visiting schools, we host playoff games sometimes. And if we can have nice facilities there, if we can have a handicap accessible restroom in that gym area, that will be um, that will be much thought of as a great improvement. Second thing um, I would like to say is um, this is a suggestion as well to the board. Uh, it's really difficult to find where the policy meetings are um, being scheduled. They're kind of um, tucked away on the website under board things and um, the education committee as well. As I uh, spoke earlier, we want to work together and if it wasn't for Mr. Brown and his good wife Debbie reminding the teachers of when those are, they're, they're kind of hard to find. So why not have every meeting like right on the front page of the board um, section or something so that um, citizens who are interested 
or teachers or whatever can attend those. So um, that would just be a suggestion to put those there. And lastly, I'm probably not allowed to do this, but I would like to tell Mr. DeFrancesco that um, I'm not sure, but I hear the senior government class talking all the time about a, um, they do a whole citizens uh, unit and they have to pass the same citizens test that um, someone applying for citizenship does. So they, they study all of that. So um, if I could set you at ease a little bit, I believe um, we are teaching them about American civics. Thank you. Can I respond to that? No. Out in the parking lot. <laughs> the president? Any other citizens? Non agenda items? Carl Orchocki, Cambridge Greensboro. I just want to echo what Mrs. Miller said. If you recall, just a year ago tonight, February 13th, 2023, when we did pack this auditorium out of such concern of not only repairs, but maybe even not keeping this building open. I wish there was a full house here again tonight to hear that there is going to be some movement um, on those repairs. And I want to thank the diligence of the board for doing so. Um, with that being said, if I can just add to, I hope that list also includes some plaster repairs on the hallway and a repainting down the road at some point as well, as I'm sure when you toured, you saw some of the decrepit walls and the, the conditions there. Because there's another thing that we really want to think about um, besides the visiting teams is think of the impressions of possible new parents and students coming in to see the facility right now. I know we're all concerned about lower enrollment. We want to try to turn that tide around. Having a better facility, we realize we're a 1951 building. Uh, and that's all right. No one's complaining about that, actually. But to see some of the joy, I think, that you'll see from the students, and then in an open house before the new year starts, um, when we can see the progress. So I again echo it. There can be some publication of that, um, and then a possible timeline, and anything else that we as the citizens can do to encourage that. It'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Carla Brown, I live in Cambridge Springs. My kids attend Sagertown. Um, I wanted to speak a little bit and comment on Mr. DeFrancisco's comments a moment ago. Um, and I come to offer solutions. Um, his comments were nothing new. They were uh, echoed quite often while he was a board member. So uh, my solutions are some resources that maybe you could add to your list for next month. Um, PACivics.org that has outreach programs, educational resources, contests, and competitions. Um, and I just found this in two seconds, looking online. Um, the United Unified Ju Judicial System of Pennsylvania has civics outreach and education programs. Um, PCNTV uh, has civics 101. PA.gov has civics and government programs. Um, Committee of 70 has youth civics programs. Um, <coughs> Act 35 Civics Toolkit at the Pennsylvania Department of Education website. Um, civics 101 videos on demand, another thing that PCN TV offers. Uh, the Pennsylvania Bar Association has civics LRE resources. Um, PAForward.org, civics and social literacy. Uh, Better Civics is also a uh, Commonwealth of Pennsylvania site that has lots of educational tools and things that you could look up. Uh, all these things could be very easily found and have been resources for a very long time within our school district if uh, people would stop complaining and actually look for those things. Um, the other thing that I would like to say is that maybe you should look at your own policies um, the student representative, for example, there haven't been any student representatives for this board for a very long time. And I personally believe that no one applies for it because the policy is antiquated, outdated, um, it's biased, and students don't want to 
Don't have to turn something into a uh, principal before they come up and talk about what they want to say. Their student representatives right now are actually you, people Thank from you. the news. So, thank you very much. Any additional citizens on non agenda items? Hello, uh, Lorin Zorian Edwards. I go to Segretown High School. I'm a senior. Um, right now, I'm speaking on behalf of myself, not the press. I'm still wearing the shirt. I apologize. Um, I wanted to take a moment. There have been some resignations recently, and I just wanted to take a moment and take a moment to appreciate Mr. Papinchak, who was the marching band director at Segertown for many years. Um, I was part of the marching band for five years, this year being my last, and he was the marching band teacher throughout that. Um, he helped me through some hard times. He helped a lot of students through hard times. He helped us grow as students, grow as people, and grow as musicians. And I just want to thank him for everything he has done for this district. And I also want to ask you, what are you going to do now that you don't have a Segretown Marching Band Director? Because if you have Mr. Gardner, who is the band director at Maplewood and the band teacher at Segretown now, are you going to have him direct two bands? Or are you going to get another person to direct this band? Or are you going to have them combine? Or are you just going to let the band dissolve? Uh, that is a valid concern, considering the shape of our music department in the past. It is getting better, but it's a valid concern. Another thing I wanted to bring up was I have stood, he oh, not here, mostly over there, talking about the teacher's contract and how we need one and how it is a critical part of our education at this point. I would like to thank you for finally settling that matter. <coughs> However, I am very sad that it took this long. Um, I also want to kind of echo what Carla had to say about the policies. It was very clear on what was changed and what wasn't changed and the things that were the same on how they were formatted in the past and now it is very difficult to tell if you do not know the policy by heart. Um, also, I'm a high school senior. <laughs> Government is a required class at Segertown for juniors and has been for a long time to my knowledge. I had an amazing government teacher last year. Sadly, he is no longer with the district. But I have taken, sorry, um, I have taken that American entry test at least several times throughout my high school career. And I have a very good understanding of what local and state government are and America as a whole. And I feel that the teacher now is definitely doing that for our students. Thank you. Any additional comments on non-agenda items? <coughs> Is that two minutes up yet? Hearing none, Mr. Johnson. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second.